Welcome to Minikun Tutorials. Today I'm going to show you how to import Excel file directly into R or R Studio without necessarily converting it into CSV or text format. Generally, when we want to import Excel file into R or R Studio, we usually convert it into CSV file or any other text uh, file format like tab delimited format or text file, for example. But I will show you a method that is direct. You just import the Excel file straight away into R or your R Studio. So to do this, we need to install a package called Read Excel. So usually to import, I mean to install a package in R, we use the install.packages command. So we simply type in install.packages. into brackets into quotations you write the name of the package the name of our package is um read excel so we simply type read excel and then we install it we just select it and execute i've already installed it so i don't need to run the command but just to show you so you see that it has given me this notice because i've already installed the package so I would say no, I don't want to install it again. But if you haven't installed it already, you have to execute this command. So you can install the read Excel command. The read Excel command contains, I mean, sorry, the read Excel package contains a command called read XL, Excel. So which helps us import our, or read our uh, Excel format directly into R without necessarily converting it into CSV or any text format. But first of all, let me show you the data set that we are going to import. The Excel file. So this is the data file actually. Let me open it. Okay, so as you can see, this is the Excel file that we are going to import. You know, we have, we can have multiple sheets in the same excel file so we have for instance sheet one this is it this sheet two and we can even add more sh sheets you see it now usually when we want to import a particular sheet i mean excel sheet into r for instance if we want to import this data set yes this we will have to click on file and save it as a csv format you know format file like we click on desktop for example we save it on the desktop, we click here and select CSV or maybe text delimited file or whatever, you know, CSV for example. And then we, so that we can now use the read.csv or read.table or whichever command you may want to use to import it. But this time around, we are not going to do this because we want to skip this step. We will not save, we just want to import that file straight away. So. Now, the question that you have to ask yourself is, how are we going to, I mean, specify the Excel sheet that we want to, to, to import? Is it sheet one or sheet two? It's very simple. I will show you how to do it quickly. So now, now that we finish installing this package, we have to load it. So to load the package, we simply use the library command library into brackets read excel in order to load it okay now we select it and load the file sorry i guess there's something wrong read excel yeah normally it was supposed to work i don't know why library sorry library i spelled library wrong library okay that's okay now all right, so we finished loading our read Excel command and now we can go ahead and import our Excel file. So we can give any name to the Excel file. You can give it your name, whichever name you want to give it. It's up to you. So preferably I will give it data set. So let's assume our data set you are, you can say equal to or you uh, less than and dash It's the same thing. So our data set then we use the command is equal to read underscore excel 
this is the command that we are going to use so read underscore excel now we close the bracket or we open bracket and then into quotations we're gonna copy and paste the what we call it, the file extension so we simply get to wherever that we've saved our file and then copy it so i have it on the desktop right here so to copy the file extension is very simple you right click on it your excel file you click on properties and then you click on security you have the full file extension here so you just simply copy it you select it and control c or you right click and click on copy and now we just come and paste it in inside here so we paste it control v or you can right click and say paste okay so we have it here either you put double like double backslashes or you delete and put single one forward slash preferably we just put single forward slashes okay and now that we are done we are almost done anyway so one thing that is left for us to indicate is which sheet do we want to import supposing that we have multiple sheets as in our case we have three or two sheets you know so which one do we, do we want to import this particular sheet or we want to import this particular sheet or data set so first of all let's start with the first data set so we would simply add a command to indicate that we want to import the first sheet so we simply say we simply let me get down there's no enough space i would say what sheet is equal to one for example to indicate that i want to import the first sheet so let me actually show you this is the first sheet and you see this is the data set that it contains so and then we are true to go we just simply select this and then we run it and the importation is done let me show you the data set we simply say print into brackets data set And this is our data set that has been imported you know it tells us the nature of the variable it is a character is it a whatever is it a an integer or whatever you know these are actually uh, what we call it um, numeric when it's numeric or integer it writes dbl when it's character it writes this or factor it's written as character so as you can see because we have so many variables it cannot you know print everything but it has printed a couple of lines and rows i mean lines a couple of rows and columns so let's try the second data set or the second sheet for that matter if we want to import the second sheet as you can see the second sheet contains let me say student and their max like students took an exam over 20 every student and let me save it so we have every student and their max okay so to import to to indicate i want to import the second worksheet so we simply put indicate i want to import the second worksheet and if i should execute this is done now let's print our data set again and you see this is a second worksheet we have students and then what max here it is so this is how we import data directly i mean we read an excel file into r directly without converting it into csv or text format i hope my explanation was clear if you would like to know more about uh, how to use this command you know the read underscore excel command first of all you should understand that the read underscore excel command is contained in the read excel command so you have to first of all install the package read excel load it in your library before you can uh, access the read excel command to know more about how to use the read excel command you simply type question mark read 
read underscore excel sorry question mark read underscore excel or you simply type help into brackets read underscore excel you know for any assistance that you may need about how to use the command uh, what do we call it uh, read excel so if i should execute any of these it's the same thing to seek some help okay because why is this important because like there are many things that we, we usually skip by default we just skip them and we put the file extension and then the excel sheet from which you want to import the data but looking at this i just executed it and let me highlight it and show you something how so that i can show you the different arguments all right so as you can see this is how this is actually the command is read excel and this is the how the usage so we usually type in read excel and then this is the path or what i usually call the file extension and this is the sheet that you have to indicate so we said we wanted to import from sheet one by default it says now you know so you if you have several sheets it's good that you indicate which sheet the sheet from which you want to import the data so we tried it for the first sheet and we tried it for the second sheet and after which there are many other things for example we have what we call the column names if by default column names is equal to true that's to say the first row contains your variables so as you can see here you know the first row of our data contains our variable that is student and then max so when you say column names is equal to true what it means is that it will consider the first row which is student and max as names of your variables if we had left it then it would have considered student and max as also what uh, responses you know so it would have given us probably uh, x1 and x2 as what names of the variable student in place of student and max if you want we can just do that if i should say column names assuming i add over here if i should say column names is equal to false you would see what will happen let's try it and see so if i should run this see it has started giving me some errors i don't know let's print the data set and see what it will give us set column names is equal to false you see after i said column names is equal to false you see that right now it considers student and max as what uh, responses so it has to say x1 and x2 or whatever you know so in order to prevent this in, act in actual sense the first column corresponds to student the student and the second column corresponds to the max so by default it, it it leaves it as true so that it, uh -huh. so but in case you want to so this just, that's just to tell you that there are certain things that you can alter in the but by default we just simply type in the the path of the the, the file and then the sheet from which you want to import and it's okay you don't need to add any other thing all right and uh, we can still look further there are a couple of things but by default this is just okay to put the file extension and then the sheet from which you want to import and you are true to go i hope my explanation was clear if you have any question please do not hesitate to ask your questions and i would respond to you thank you so much for watching and please subscribe this is how we import uh, Excel file directly into R without converting it into CSV or whichever format.